Yes, ma'am. Rolo, get. Every day, robots advance in their abilities and take over the jobs of man. From the loom during the Industrial Revolution to advanced manufacturing robots. What about something such as cooking? Is it possible for a robot to simulate grandma's cooking? We're going down to Highway 1, San Francisco's super hot hardware accelerator to check out Serenity Kitchen. All right, I can, I can see it here, but do you want to kind of give me a little bit of the overview of what this is? We're taking Keurig's business model and adapting it to food. So instead of cartridges of coffee, you have cartridges of fresh ingredients for food. You put it into the device, and you go to a smart device, and you set the recipe, and it'll start cooking for you. So it's like one of these Nespresso machines or something. Exactly. Where you really just can't screw it up. We want you to cook the perfect food every time. We're portion controlled and we want you to eat it just like a chef made it. The millennial generation wants something that they can see, they can taste, they can smell. And that something is not a frozen TV dinner because it's laden with preservatives. It was probably made months ago. Our ingredients aim to be procured locally and you can actually put ingredients in as you want. Wow. So it's like farm to table meets TV dinner. Exactly, because that revolution is already happening. We have a little bit of oil, some dumplings that we're going to turn into gyozas, and a soy mirin mix, which is comprised of the sauce. I'm going to shut the door. This is the iPod that cooks food instead of banks music. iTunes full of recipes instead of songs. You go to the right recipe. You got to cook. Cook now. I can't, I can't stop it, dude. So it puts a little bit of oil into the into the pot. We're gonna take regular Trader Joe's dumplings that we just got out of a bag. I can't, I can't stop it, dude. I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't, I can't stop it, dude. Pretty good. We want to solve the problem for the 90 plus percent of Americans who can't afford a 10 to 15 dollar meal every meal, but they still want to eat well. They're still challenged with being busy every day of their life. What do you think? Are we headed into a world where robots build robotic tractors to harvest food for robots to package, for robots to deliver, to robots to cook for us? It's good. Not as good as grandma, Not as but it, it definitely beats The Bachelor. We're going to get there. <laughs>